Well, businesses are bracing for a possible shutdown as COVID cases continue to climb. Area leaders say restrictions are coming unless the latest trends change. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live in Clayton, where some businesses are really worried about their future. Jeff. That's right, Mandy. Uh, St. Louis County Executive Sam Page saying this is one last chance, pleading with the public to take whatever precautions they can to disrupt the spread of COVID. The owner of this hair salon here in Clayton telling me he's still feeling the effects from the last shutdown. The owners of Strand's hair salon spent money on air purification, partitions, and only a couple of stylists work at a time, so customers are socially distanced. Limiting the number of customers has resulted in a loss of about 50% of their business. The impact of a second shutdown would be nearly catastrophic. Kevin Guevara supports the efforts of St. Louis County Executive Sam Page to fight the virus, but hopes his administration will make considerations if more restrictions are coming. We ourselves have provided 600 services from May 18th to present time with not a single positive case. So I think we need to really do this as a very detailed uh, attack and let's not kill all the businesses that are not showing a positive uh, effect as far as spreading COVID. Come shop. Dot dot dash is a clothing boutique preparing for what should be the busiest shopping season of the year. The store will need to turn to shopping by appointment if more restrictions arrive. It would be tough. I mean, we bought all this merchandise for the holiday shopping time and we're hoping that we can stick it out and we're encouraging people to come in and shop early in case that happens. Area leaders say the only way to prevent more restrictions would be for current COVID trends to change. They say the only way that will happen is if precautions such as avoiding social gatherings are taken. This is really the time for people of this region and of the state to control the virus. Otherwise, it will keep controlling us. It's a difficult time. People need to take it more seriously, I think. The county executive is asking everyone to identify a group no more than 10 and avoid interactions outside that group. Continue to use the precautions like wearing a face covering in public. Also, the county executive saying if you can work from home, do so. And if you can stay home, do so as well. Reporting live from Clayton, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. Dr.